In today's episode, we are going behind the scenes on the computer into Photoshop to go through an edit where I take you through how to darken a black background and a black and white conversion. Now I know getting started with Photoshop, it can be a little overwhelming. So I want to show you a very simple edit. It's one of my favorite, favorite tricks. And it's actually probably one of the very first things I learned when I first started getting started with Photoshop. Now with Photoshop, there are literally thousands of ways to skin a cat or edit an image. Don't skin cats. It's kind of gross. But what I want to show you today is just a simple way to do a quick conversion, darken that background to create images your clients will love. So we're going to head over to Photoshop. Come on and join me on the computer. Okay, let's get started. So I've got this beautiful image of this tiny little person. And as you can see, the way that I've shot this is I have dad actually in a black blanket and that was just a cheap one I got from Ikea. Um, or you can use like a black Snuggie. Those work really, really well. And the way that I've got baby on dad is I've got dad just holding him sort of just like this and he's wearing he's the backdrop and so i've got baby kind of resting like this in the hands right on his lap so what i want to show you is just a simple way to darken that backdrop i remember when i was first getting started it was really something that i was like oh my gosh i don't know how to do this it's stressing me out i want to show you my simplest way to do that and i'm going to show you a quick black and white conversion that your clients are going to love okay so the first thing we're going to do we're going to get started and i've already made a duplicate later layer um, actually, I'm going to delete that. I'm going to show you. It's just the shortcut Command J on your keyboard. And we're going to take our quick selection tool and we're going to select the baby. So I'm actually holding my shift button down and I've got it on the plus. Um, and just holding that down, just trying to grab all of anything that is skin. Now, as you can see, it's pulled a little bit of things that are not. And I'll show you how I'm going to go through and take that off. We've got the minus tool subtracts from selection. So that's what I'm going to click and I'm just going to hold my, sorry, I'm just going to go through here and take this off. So as you can see, it's kind of a, a sloppy, um, sloppy job. Um, I don't have everything in here. You can see there's like little bits of hair and stuff. Now there's a couple options. We can just leave it as is. I like to feather my selection. So what that means is just instead of having that hard edge, it's a feathered edge. So what I'm going to do is I am right clicking and right here we've got feather. I'm going to click feather and I'm actually going to feather the radius by 45. And so it just makes it more of a softer edge. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to invert the selection. And what that means is we're going to be selecting everything on the outside. We don't want to be selecting the babies. Select inverse right here. There we go and I'm going to use my curves, I believe. So we're going to take our curves la layer over here. We're going to create a new adjustment layer. And what I'm doing is I'm just taking the midtones and taking everything down and I'm just pulling it right down. So as you can see, oops, take that down. And as you can see with the before and after, what's going on here? Now, because I feathered the selection, we do have a little bit of black spill just on baby right here. I'm just gonna go in with a soft brush and get rid of that. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So we're gonna zoom in a little bit. I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to take it at an opacity of about 30%. I'm gonna make sure I have my black selected, not the white, because I'm gonna show you what happens. So how I toggle between my black and white brushes is, is the X shortcut key. So you can see right on the side here, it's going black and white, black and white, black and white. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna show you what, if it's on white, see it would darken the baby, we don't want that. So I'm gonna erase that off. I'm gonna take it to 30% and I'm just gonna go around just the edge, just making sure that I'm not going too much on the backdrop and just taking it off very gently off baby's skin here. A little bit here, just sort of where the light would be hitting. Maybe a little off dad's hands a little bit. Off tips. And because this part is in the shadow, it doesn't really bother me too much here. Okay, so we can see a little before and after. That's a very, very, very simple and easy way to darken the background. 
Now the next thing I want to show you is just a very, very, very simple black and white edit. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new snapshot layer. So we're going to go Command Option Shift E, and that creates that new snapshot layer of everything that is below. What we're going to do to this layer is we're going to desaturate rate it. So I'm going to go Command oh, Command U, which brings me up the hue and saturation. I'm going to take my saturation down all the way down here, and I have created a beautiful black and white. What you can do is you can tweak your lightness and your darkness if you want to make it a little richer. I'm going to bring it down just slightly. Click OK. And the next thing I'm going to do is I want to add just a smidgen more contrast. So I'm going to go Command J, which creates a new layer. We're going to change the blend mode over here. We're going to change it to soft light, and you can see what it does. It creates a lot more contrast. And I'm just going to bring, and you can just adjust the opacity to whatever you want. If you want a little bit more or less contrast, um, depends on your style and what you like. I'm going to drop it to about 60%, and that looks perfect to me. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have loved this video. Now, if you have an idea for something that you would like to see, please do post in the comments below. I would love to be able to answer any questions you might have or create any new videos. Now, these videos come up once a week, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button to make sure you don't miss a single trick, tip, or tutorial that we can share with you to help you become the artist you've always dreamed of. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. <laughs>